All right, everybody. Today I'm going to try my luck at Battle Royale. I usually have my own team of an all diamond team that I usually use, but this is going to be a little bit interesting because with Battle Royale, all the teams are basically created equal because you have to have crappy players. So you get one diamond player, and I'm going to take Kimbrel because these are only three inning games that we're playing, and I really need a really dynamite like closer uh, for my next pick I'm just going to take I'm just going to take a crappy pitcher I think I'm going to fill up my bullpen with a bunch of just look how many I have to take 13 bronze players so I'm going to be using Kimbrel for at least two innings a game Gary Sanchez is an old friend of the uh, Greensburg Gators I had him for a little while so I'm going to put him in my catcher spot this is a this is a good decision for me. I, Dustin Pedroia, not that fast. Jason Worth is faster, so I'm going to take Worth. Even though Pedroia's got good stats, Worth gives me a little more power. 92. Yeah, we're going to take Worth. I think the hardest calls are these bronze players. I'm going to take... Tim Cooney, he's a starting pitcher. I'm just going to fill up my starting pitchers with bronzes. Over here in the next round, I've got Joe Carter. Who's this? Play me. I'm busy right now. So, sorry. Joe Carter, pretty decent speed. Upton's got good speed, but Carter's got better offensive numbers. So, I'm going to take him. So, my outfield's pretty good. Joe Carter, Jason Worth. This next one is not even really much of a choice. Brett Gardner would make a great leadoff hitter. The Joe Maurer is not the flashback Maurer, so I'm taking Gardner. Next up, some more bronze players. I'm going to kind of hang around and wait and try to get all silvers and golds, as many as possible in my starting lineup. So I'm just going to take Justin Nicolino here, toss him in the rotation, let him pitch to one batter. Now this is a tough call. Do I take Eddie Murray, who's got some power, he's a Hall of Famer, or Howie Kendrick, who's faster with probably better contact? Oh, I'm going to have to take Murray. Hopefully he comes through for me. I think in this round, it looks like Neil Walker would be the obvious choice. Castellanos is okay, but I've had Walker before. I know what he, he can do. So, bringing back Neil Walker. He was, I think, one of the first players I had when I started Diamond Dynasty. Hey, there's Andrew Miller when he was a rookie. Back when he started out, he was a starting pitcher. So, I'm going to take Miller and just toss him in my crappy starting rotation. Next up, Aaron Hill. Some good contact numbers there. Nick Ahmed, meh. They're both kind of blah. So I'm going to go ahead and take one of these pitchers. We'll take the reliever. We've got Darwin Barney who doesn't hit. I'm, I'm going to take another reliever here. I'll take Tyler Matzik and throw him my rotation. All these lefties in my rotation so far. This next choice I'm going to go with probably Escobar. He's got good speed. Solarte, not so much. So, I'm going to put Escobar in there. I'll probably bat him at the end of my lineup. So, I still need a third baseman. Oh, Lord. These, are, these guys aren't even ranked. Who cares? I'll just take somebody. Hunter Cervenka. I saw him on the Braves this year. He was okay. I could take Joey Gallo and put him at third, but I'm going to hold out and wait for a better third baseman. I think what I'll do is I'll just take Houston Street and toss him in the bullpen. Put him in, in the middle relief role. He's never going to pitch unless he comes in in like the 12th inning if it goes that far. All right, now I can take a third baseman. Matt Carpenter's looking pretty good. Really good contact against righties. And since most of the pitchers are right-handed, I'm going to take Carpenter. All right, now I need another starting pitcher. So it's going to be Gallardo or Ubaldo Jimenez. All right, let's see here. Looking at the uh, the pie charts, I'm going to go with Ubaldo. He's my fifth starter. 
Rounding out the bullpen now. Uh, I'm going to probably go with... Let's see, who's got a good curveball? Let's see if Adam Warren's got a curveball. Yep, he's got a curveball, so I'll take him. I like throwing curveballs to keep guys off balance. All right, now I could take a gold pitcher. So this will be basically my backup to Kimbrel. I see that Feliz, Neptali Feliz, his second pitch is a curveball. Greeley doesn't have a curveball. Neither does Robertson. So I'm going to go ahead and take Neptali Feliz. I've had Clipper before, but I'm going to go with Feliz. All right, now my bench. So I really don't care between these guys. Let's just see here who has the best contact. I guess we'll take, I don't know, Wilmer Flores has good contact against righties. Hey, James Jones is fast. Look at that speed. So if I, uh, Michael Brantley, those, those numbers, those offensive numbers are so bad. I'm going to have to take James Jones just to be my pinch runner in case it's like the third inning and it's tied up and I needed someone to come in and run. Loney's got some good contact. David Freeze is meh. I'm going to probably take Loney here to be my left-handed pinch hitter if needed. Next, we got some old washed-up stars. Mark Teixeira. Ryan Howard was in there, but I'm taking Craig Gentry. Craig Gentry was so good for me when I started out. He hit like 500 or 600 because I bunted with him all the time. So Gentry's going to be uh, on the bun squad. Next round, I'm looking at Alan Krager. Since Shu Chu is my top choices here. Look at Craig's contact against righties and lefties. I guess he'd fit in pretty well. He, he's a first baseman. Solarte, look at all his positions he plays. But Alan Craig's numbers are so much better. First base and right field. So I've got a lot of first basemen. Um, I sh probably should have taken Solarte, but I just couldn't help myself looking at Craig's contact numbers. I mean, that that's really, that could come in handy. All right, so on to my first game. Look at my lineup. I think it's pretty good, but my opponents also, they're stacked. They also went the, uh, they went the offensive route. Dan Straley is a bronze in this game, so I guess he just went for all crappy pitchers and is just trying to hit his way to victory that's basically what i'm doing i'm trying to hit my way to victory here and i'm trying to let craig kimbrell pitch the entire game basically all right so here we go that's a nice start brett gardner leads off he's really fast i'm not gonna really test it yet let's see if he pitches out i would probably go on the second pitch but jason worth goes right up the middle so i'm in business first and second Nobody out. Joe Carter coming up. All right. Carter goes oppo. Oh, what are, what's going on here? Have a little bit of a log jam at second base. I probably should have scored two runs there, but we'll take it. Eddie Murray with a fly ball. Let's see how fast Worth is. That's Mark Trumbo out there in right field, isn't it? And he's not even close a double play that aggressiveness really hurt me i should have waited and now i'm trying a safety squeeze and it fails oh well i got the run i'm pretty confident with that one run now i've got craig kimbrell already warming in the bullpen as soon as the game started i got him up and throwing ubaldo jimenez strikes out pedro to start out little tapper oh sanchez missed it now I've got 90 speed Carlos Beltran on first base. So I'm bringing Craig Kimbrell in the first inning. There he goes. What you didn't see before this, I threw over to first base about 12 times. And he... Oh, oh, he just stole again. I got, oh, I got sidetracked by that notification. Wow. All right. I got a pop-up, so no big deal. No no harm done. The umpire kind of got in the way there, but I'm out of the inning. Still one to nothing. Let's see if we can get some insurance. Gary Sanchez with the medium-range fly ball. Here at Yankee Stadium, everything's deep. The stadium is so small. 
Next up, Neil Walker pops it up. Yeah, Walker didn't do so well for me. I think I had him for like a few games, and then I brought in Gene Segura to play. And now I've got Jose Altuve. I left. I just let Craig Kimbrell just stay in there. I mean, there was two outs, nothing going on. He almost reached base on a strikeout. I'm going to really need him to go most of the game. I've got Neftali Feliz to bring in. He's warming in the bullpen also, like if he gets in trouble here, but hoping that doesn't happen. I think, what did I see? What was Kimbrell, like a 97 diamond or something like this? All right, well, I just realized I accidentally edited out a single up the middle, so there's a runner on first base, and he just got two stolen bases on me. Wild pitch. Well, I don't know if that's two stolen bases. Wild pitch and really bad decision by myself to throw down the second base. I should have just ate it, but I struck him out and got him to pop up, so no harm done. Just one single up the middle, and I'm out of the inning, so... In both innings, he had a guy on third base, so it's pretty close. I really would like to get some more runs here. Let's see what we can get going here. Alcides Escobar with a base hit. He's pretty fast, but I'm not going to really be that aggressive on the base paths. All right. I was just trying for a sack bunt there with Brett Gardner, and his third baseman muffed it. Jason Worth with a base hit. I'm going to send him. He threw it. Wow, that was a bad throw. I don't know what that was. But it's 2 to nothing now. And Joe Carter goes up the middle. That's going to score two. I'm going to try... Oh, whoops. I, I just assumed he would throw home there. So now he's bringing in the big guns. Chris Sale, the rookie flashback when he used to be a reliever. That's a nice play by that third baseman right there to get that ball. That ball kind of hopped up on him. So Murray's out, and Matt Carpenter is going yard. Upper deck off Chris Sale, lefty-on-lefty lefty matchup. And Gary Sanchez pops up. So this game is basically in the bag right now. I still got Kimbrell on the mound thrown for me, and I'm a 5 to nothing. Let's just hope I don't make any stupid errors. Here's Fred McGriff pinch hitting for Sale. And I'm going to chase that one down. So that's one out. There's a strikeout. Oh, but it gets away. I hate that. Come on, Sanchez. You gotta knock that stuff down. Carlos Beltran. That's a double play. A double play to end it. So my first battle royale game. First wins in the books thanks to this guy. Craig Kimbrell pitching almost the entire game except for one out. And there we go. 1-0. So look for more Battle Royale videos coming up. I hope to win as many games as possible. But I've got the Garrett Cole winner ready to be announced on Gleam.io. And the winner is Donna T. Congratulations. I will send you an email and all I need from you is your address. And I will send you the Garrett Cole Fathead. This website's great, by the way. Everybody can enter as many times as they want. I click pick winner and boom, there it is. Thanks for watching, everybody.